Well, an end of an era. For us watching you, for you playing, what on earth is going through your mind and your heart at the moment? <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know, a whole load of emotions. I think immediately sort of evaluating the game. Um, I thought we did well up to half-time. Um, we were we were definitely in the game at half time. It was always going to be, uh, you know, a, a topsy turvy game. We we said that, you know, we were going to score tries. They were going to score tries, and probably ill discipline in that second half um, when we when we conceded our first yellow. I think we conceded, you know, ten or twelve points, and uh, it was always going to be difficult from there. And then with another yellow, myself, and then obviously the red. Um, you know, it was uh, an impossible battle there. What a way to end your final game, <laughs> to be yellow carded. I doubt there'll be a disciplinary hearing. I doubt you're worrying what impact you'll have on your playing career after this. But goodness me, that wasn't in the plan, was it? No, not at all. The, the minute I did it, I knew, you know, letter of the law, is, it's, it's a yellow. It's, it's an instinctive thing, you know. I knew um, there was a man outside Slade and I sort of tried to get in the way and he, he got the ball away. So I, I knew and I, first thing I did was look up at the clock to see if there was more than 10 minutes and I think there was 9 minutes 40. And I thought it's just typical in it um, to to end on a on a yellow. But the boys in the change room are taking the mick and saying I'll do anything for a standing ovation. So um, yeah, it's one of them. You would have got a standing ovation regardless of when you left the field of play. Let's not talk about today's game. Let's talk about results and what it leads to. Let's talk about you and rugby because we're going to miss you. You're going to miss rugby, I guess. One hundred percent. You know, I, I'm ready for it. I've you know I've I've been sort of preparing for it. Um, thankfully. You know, it's all been on my terms. You know, calling it a day, and it's it's probably been um, a thought for you know probably 12 to 18 months. So um, you know, I've, I've really been able to sort of savor these last three to six months. And you know, there's been uh, there's been some good times. You know, last week was fantastic. Um, final home game at the AJ Bell. Um, you know, winning and um, we had our awards evening after. So um, you know, I've I've really enjoyed the last sort of six months really. And, and like I say, I, I've I've always known it was coming to an end. So really sort of made an effort to, an effort to, to save a sort of special moment. Well, a remarkable career, remarkable man. Thanks for playing the game. Cheers, babes. Well Thanks, done. mate. Well, Nathan, at the end of that game, I guess you didn't really want to get off the field, although you were rapidly losing teammates to red cards and yellow cards. Did you want that whistle just to delay a little while? No, I wanted to get off. It was cramping, <laughs> my knee was sore. I was like, get me off. Uh, yeah, obviously, you know, you want to stay in as long as possible, but uh, X and I were... We were down with a lot, three men, I think, at the end. And uh, they were scoring points at will, really. So um, that's what cost us, I think. They, they scored three tries, and we were down to 14 when Johnny was off. And instead of playing a, a tighter game, we, we tried to play a bit loose, and that cost us. So, uh, yeah, fair to Exeter. You know, they played some exciting rugby, but, you know, with us, uh, we didn't use the, the wind to our advantage in the second half, and uh, we paid for it, really. There's a bit of a saying in rugby, have boots, will travel, and you exemplify that. The clubs you've played at, the success that's come your way. Impossible now to sort of pick out a great moment, but you, you're saying goodbye to this game as a player now. You're going to miss this, I wouldn't, man? Uh, yeah, I am. I was before the, the change, I would just be, I'll miss just being a part of, uh, you know, before the game and, and, and being a part of a team that, you know, you're going out to, to do something that you don't get to do normally. and. Uh, compete 15 blokes trying to you know do as well as you can for each other and um, I'll miss that but I've you know been given another opportunity to be in in, in rugby and, and I'm uh, ecstatic to have that so uh, while I will miss probably the the, the game and, and stuff I, I won't miss probably Sundays and, and Monday Tuesdays and Wednesdays yeah where, I'm, where I can't get out of bed <laughs> yeah the body will uh, well, body will thank you for, for, for retiring but what about sail sharks you say goodbye to them but these guys they'll be back into pre-season training back into the season next season. What do you expect them to produce? Uh, you know, it's going to be hard. I think that everyone's bolstering their squads. Uh, Sale, I mean, we've done exceptionally well this year with the squad we've got. We haven't got much depth. I mean, Vadim Cobble has played pretty much every minute of uh, the season. So, uh, you know, a little bit of smart recruiting to, to shore things up. And uh, they've got a great spirit. So, you know, that's an uh, important part of the squad. And they won't lose that. So if they get a couple of good players in key positions, then, then they can and do well. I think... Um, you know, there's probably two or three games that we could have closed out and we would have been, been talking differently now about our season, but uh, you know, it wasn't to be. Well, enjoy the extended off-season now for however long it may go. Good luck with the next chapter. Cheers, mate. Thanks Come very on. much. Well